beer ready, you may begin. Imagine having your rights taken away from you. The fundamental rights our forefathers stated in the Constitution. Unfortunately, some of these are being challenged in today's society. Our government is able to legally detain someone without a fair trial and jail them for however long they see fit. I think this should not be allowed in the country where we are promised a fair trial to everyone, no matter what of race or gender, no matter where they are. I don't think this is okay, since we are literally based on this principle. I understand there are some circumstances that may void some rules. However, I feel like everyone should get a fair trial. If you look at the article, uh, this is Article 10 of the Sixth Amendment. It says, in all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district uh, wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law and be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witness against him, to have compulsory uh, process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance counsel for his defense. Now if you'll flip your hand out back over First of all, this is a constitutional amendment. Everyone has a right to a fair trial, no matter your race or gender. This was introduced by our forefathers in the Constitution or in the Bill of Rights. This cannot and should not be taken away from anyone. They, these people could possibly de be detained for their whole lives, given the loopholes in the law. They may have families or people who depend on them for their working, so entire families could be affected by this. They won't actually be able to plead their case in prison if they aren't able to speak the language where they are held, and they may not even get a trial for their entire lives. This could cause uh, tensions between other countries if a country, say, detains someone and holds them for their entire lives and the other government does not tell the other country about this. Amnesty.com states that after the events of 9-11, Bush formed Guantanamo Bay uh, in January 2002. He declared this the War on Terror. The War on Terror stated that um, basic human rights and the safety of people, or the safety of people can overrule the, the, the safety of people can overrule a terrorist suspect's will of a fair trial. Uh, terrorists deserve to be held their whole lives, he said. However, this isn't part of what we say in our own constitution. Human rights are human rights and they cannot be taken away. Guantanamo Bay is a prison in Cuba and has had 779 prisoners in its existence. However, of the 779 prisoners that have been held here, only seven have actually been convicted of any crime. Currently, there are 107 detainees and many have been <coughs> freed due to the public outcry of the unjust system. 47 of these current 107 are actually cleared to go, yet the government will still not let them be released. Freedomhouse.com states that Shakur Ama worked for an Afghani charity in Afghanistan on the war of terror, and he was detained to Guantanamo Bay because of suspected terrorism. However, after 13 years of being held in prison, he was ruled innocent and returned to his family who had then moved to the UK during his time. There was a large public outcry after this, and nearly 50% of the inmates in Guantanamo Bay were released shortly after. However, not all have been freed. 107 are currently still there. Um, there are many flaws within our legal system, but we hope that it will be fixed in the coming years so that everyone is given equal rights and no one should be held without being charged or held without a tri trial. There are many reasons people are detained without the chance of a fair trial. Although this is unconstitutional and very wrong, it still continues in our society. We should try to not only uh, we should not only try to keep this in amendment, but keep a fair trial and sentence for all. And we hope there will be solutions for this problem soon in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's give him a round of applause. All right. I need you to take your place up front, please, because we have questioning oh, after. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. All right, we open the floor, ladies and gentlemen, to questions related to Wyatt's topic. And if you'd be so kind as to call on them, I'd appreciate it. Elijah.
in your opinion, is the U.S. Constitution, should that only refer to the dealings with American rights or human rights as a whole? Um, personally, I think it should be human rights because although they aren't U.S. citizens, they sh still should be treated as humans, not animals. Aiden? Um, before like, the detainees like, held there for a while, before the trial, are they given the option of a bail? Do what? Are they given the option of bail for like, their, before the trial um, or they just held there without? I'm not 100% <coughs> sure about that, so I won't answer. Uh, are most of the people that are held against their will, are they like non-Americans? Do what? Are they mostly non-Americans that are held? Um, are some Americans held or not? I don't know the exact statistics, but some are American and some aren't. Victoria? Um, you said some of the 107, I think it was, are cleared to go. What do you mean by cleared to go? Like, they've already been told that the convictions that they were put in prison on are no longer part of their case, mm -hmm. yet the government still won't let them go. So why, why you know? Are I'm not sure. They, they didn't say anything about that. Oh, Maria? You said those seven that were convicted, mm -hmm. do you mean like they were given a trial then? Yeah, they were given okay. a trial. So were those seven where they found guilty or innocent? Yeah, they were found guilty. exact statistics, but I think a good part of them are probably Afghani or Iranian due to the war on terror. Anything else? All right, let's go ahead and give a wide round of applause. Thank you very much.